Hello my friends, welcome Coffee and Reaction video channel. I am Mustafa from Turkey and today I am gonna react Diana Ankudinova and she is gonna sing us Helva Ya Baladi. It is an Arabic song uh, and this song has uh, suggested me uh, too many times and this is the time for a reaction. Uh, a few minutes ago I uh, listened the original one from uh, Dalida, yes. Uh, it was really cute song, really sweet song, and I am so curious about how Diana is gonna sing this song. Uh, because with her unique voice, she can sing any song, and that song gonna be perfect. <laughs> so, by the way, uh, does she know Arabic or um, just she learned how to sing this song? I am so curious. Let's start, let's, let's find out. Let's listen. Pisnia Helva Yabaladi, Dalida. Dalida, yes. And this is that uh, pub, right? Uh, you mentioned there is a pub in Russia and uh, some singers go there and uh, sing there. Is it the same pub? No, this is a different stage. No, no, it's a different stage, yes. By the way, she looks so beautiful with that long black hair. Yes, she is definitely looks so beautiful. Guys, um, I don't know if you are familiar with the Eastern uh, Arabic songs, uh, but uh, in Arabic songs, um, how can I describe this? Uh, in inside of the words, uh, if one uh, if a person sing a song a word, and uh, after the other words, um, it ties so beautifully. So. For example, if we are speaking, there are some uh, empty, there are some uh, time lapse in our words. But Arabic is so tight. And uh, in that tying uh, speaking, uh, in the songs, it's becoming a beautiful tone, beautiful vibe. And uh, because the singers can feel that. Uh, gaps with their beautiful voice and Diana is doing that I don't know if I can describe it correctly but uh, I like that I liked <laughs> Yes. 
Uh, before, uh, what I was trying to say that um, in the gaps uh, times, you can make lots of throat playing. And this is the uh, issue that Diana is mastered also. She can do this throat play so beautifully. So she can sing this kind of song so beautifully, so successfully. <laughs> Yes, in that stage, the sound quality, not uh, quality as always, but uh, it sounds so beautiful as always, because Diana singing. Uh, by the way, uh, I am curious about how long does she uh, trained about this song? Because uh, learning this song, even the learning the lyrics must took took four days maybe weeks it's interesting does she uh, knew about this song before or she just learned new and perform it immediately this is a talent <laughs> I would love to give her flowers like that. I wanted to be there and give Diana flowers. <laughs> it will be so beautiful. Yeah, it's so interesting. Why did she sing this song? Did somebody uh, suggest it her? Or does she want to sing this song? Because it is interesting and it is not her comfort area. This song uh, is so uh, different to her. But uh, even that, she sing that so pretty, so decent, so beautiful, and it was so successful. Maybe uh, this song is one of our favorites. Maybe I don't know. I am just guessing. Uh, but if you know the details, uh, I would love to hear. I would love to read the details, the information about the back backstory of this song, because it is interesting. Uh, to sing Arabic song because it is special. For example, um, I I listen a Turkish song from Dimash, and it was so special for me. And this song must be so special for Arabic countries to listen their own song from Diana and Kudinova, right? Uh, so I would love to know uh, if there is some special story behind uh, that song. Or not, or just she just wanted to sing that song because she liked this song. <laughs> I don't know. So, guys, thank you for watching me today. Uh, it is so beautiful to grow with you. By the way, I, I, I forget. Uh, my subscribes uh, is 5,000 right now. I have 5,000 beautiful people with me. I have 
5,000 beautiful friends. Thank you. Thank you for your support. It is so important for me. Thank you, guys. And uh, I hope to see you in the next videos. Until then, please take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.